In this video we're going to divide mixed numbers. Here's page 1, these two examples. Page 2, these two examples. Page 3, what is the product of these numbers and also what is the quotient of these numbers on page 3. So please use the index in the top left of the uh, uh, of the screen and uh, you know skip skip around if, if if you if you're reviewing or you need to okay if you need it okay so anyway um, we'll start with uh, dividing mixed numbers two and five sixths divided by one and four fifths hmm once again a little bit of a problem here I mean that's kind of a weird thing because two and five sixths is in fact two plus five sixths. If you had two and five sixths cups of sugar, that would be two cups of sugar and also five sixths more cups of sugar, right? So it would be two plus five sixths. So it's that divided by one uh, plus four fifths. You know, it's kind of a, that's kind of a difficult problem. Like, what would you do with that, right? So um, could you all by yourself figure out one step we could take at the beginning to make life a little bit nicer here. So what could you, what, what would the first thing you, you would do with these mixed numbers be to, to kind of uh, make things easier? Any idea? Take a wild guess. Take a guess. You could change them into change them into improper change the mixed numbers into improper fractions, right? If you change them into improper fractions, then then it, you, you'll, you'll be looking at something you've done before. It won't be so bad. So we'll do that then. So 6 times 2 is 12. Because 2 is 12 sixths. 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 and 5 is 17. So we've got 17 sixths divided by um, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 and 4 is 9. 9 fifths, okay? And now we still have a divide by sign, so don't go cross cancelling anything just yet, because we can't. I mean, you're not. You can only cross cancel if you're multiplying. You might have the urge to cross cancel a three with the six and a nine, but don't do that, because look, you've got division, right? We have got to flip and multiply now, don't we? So when I'm dividing by a fraction, I flip it. I multiply and I flip it upside down. Okay. There we go. That's the correct thing to do. Okay? So that's something to watch out for. You're dividing, you've got to flip the fraction on the right and multiply. Or multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right. Okay? The divisor. Okay. Can we cross cancel anything? Doesn't seem like it. So this is uh, this is going to be a little bit messy because uh, we don't have it in the cross cancel. So we just have to go ahead and multiply these things across. So let's see, 17 times 5, um, I'll just work that out, let's see, um, well 10 17 is 170, half of 70 is 35 and half of 100 is 50, so that is going to be 85 over 9 6, this is 54 and all that, and um, I'm going to give the answer as a mixed number, so 54 into 85 would go one time, wouldn't it, and what would the re remainder be, well the remainder would be, um, 85 uh, minus 54 is what it would be. 5 minus that is 1, 3. So remainder would be 31. So 1 and 31, 54. Anyway. Okay. Um, sorry, I should have. 17 times 5. Of course, I should have done a long multiplication there. 5. Uh, 5, 7 is 35. Carry to 3. Uh, 1, 5, 85. Right? So you could do that. Okay. Um, so how about 12 and 6 sevenths divided by 3? Press pause and just see if you can get the answer and then skip the video ahead and see if you get the same answer as me, right? Um, or you could follow along. I'm going to go slowly or you could race me and try to do it faster than me, whichever you prefer. But for my first question is what would the first step be? What should we do at the very beginning? Any idea? first step, most easiest thing to do would be to actually change um, everything into fractions, into improper fractions. Okay, So 7 times 12, I'll just do that over here, 12 times 7, two, 7 times 2 is 14, carry the 1, 1 7 is 7 and 1 is 8, 
So that's 84, and then if, so 7 times 12 is 84, and then I've got to add 6, don't I? And that gives 90. So this is 90 over 7. Divided by, we don't have multiplication yet, remember. Divided by, now 3, what's 3 as a fraction? It is 3 over 1, right? And you don't multiply these because you're dividing, and don't try to cross cancel anything because you're dividing, right? You've got to change, to divide fractions, you have to change that to multiplication. How? you got to flip the fraction on the right and multiply. So multiply by the reciprocal of that. So 1 over 3. Now you're multiplying fractions. Now you can cross cancel if possible. Can you see anything to cross cancel there? How about 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. 3 into 0 goes 0 times. Right? So that gives me 30 times 1, 30, over 7 times 1, 7, and as a mixed number that is? Okay, so let's see, 7 into 30, how many times? Well, 4 7s is 28, right, so that would be 4 times, and of course 30 minus 28 would be 2, so 4 times remainder 2, so 4 and 2 7s, right? Alrighty, let's move on to page two. Okay. Page two, we've got these two examples, so I'll start with this one. <coughs> and, oh my goodness, two divisions and a parenthesis involved. Oh my goodness, what does that mean? Well, for one thing it means is we've got to remember our order of operations, PEMDAS, don't we? And PEMDAS says you start with parentheses then you do exponents and you multiply and then you divide okay um, and all that so uh, hold on a second here's parentheses right and what and uh, um, like we've got to do this inside of here first because of the order of operations PEMDAS right okay so we've got to do this first so let's focus on that and we've got one and a quarter divided by four so any idea what to do there um, first step would be to change those mixed numbers into improper fractions, right? So we go 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So of course 1 and a quarter, don't you agree that if you had 1 and a quarter cups of sugar, that would definitely be 5 quarters cups, right? So it's 5 quarters anyway, divided by, and turn 4 into a fraction. That's uh, 4 over 1, isn't it? Right? And you might be tempted to cross cancel the 4s, but why can I not cross cancel the 4s yet? Because I am dividing! Whoa, oh, you've got to change division to multiplication, right? 5 fourths multiplied by. Flip this one upside down. 1 quarter. Okay? And can you cross cancel anything now? Nope. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 4 is 16. I've got 5 sixteenths. So this whole guy, this whole thing in parentheses, you see, worked out to be 5 sixteenths. And I still have 7 eighths divided by this, right? You could have written that all the way down, but you don't need to. You know, I mean. Okay, so you just worked out the parentheses, and now we have 7 eighths divided by this, and we should know what to do now, right? Can you take the next step? You're dividing again. This fraction divided by this fraction. So we need to multiply by this guy upside, flipped upside down. Okay? So, does anything cross cancel? I'm multiplying now so I can cross cancel now. That's okay. 8 8 goes once, 8 into 16 goes twice. Okay, now 7, multiply the tops, then multiply the bottoms. 7 times 2, 14. 1 times 5, 
five. Turn it into a mixed number. <clears throat> Five into fourteen goes how many times? Twice, and remainder is four. So two and four fifths is what we've got. I think anyway. So the trick was we had to do what was inside the parentheses first, mm -hmm. right? And then we have to do the rest of the problem. And I think that's right. Yep. Okay. So, um, by all means, press pause and try and do this one all by yourself, and then check the answer. Or you could um, race me and see if you did faster than me. Or you could go at the same pace as I'm going. I'm going to go slow so everybody gets a chance to to learn. Okay. So I have parentheses in this problem, and I have two divisions. So once again, I've got to remember my order of operations: PEMDAS or do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiply or divide, and then add or subtract. Right. So parentheses has this divided by this. So I'm going to focus on that first and just forget about the divide by 6 part. So what's the first thing I need to do when I'm dividing this this divided by this? Change it to a improper fraction, right? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 and 1 is 5. So I've got 5 halves divided by 3 quarters, right? Now I'm dividing fractions, so what do I need to do when I'm dividing fractions? Flip and multiply, right? So 5 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 3. So now I'm multiplying, and now I can cross cancel if I like, because I'm multiplying, right? So 2 to 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice. So 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 3 is 3. So the thing in the parentheses became 10 thirds. Didn't it? This thing became 10 thirds. And of course, now I can deal with the divide by 6. Okay? I could have written divide by 6 here and here, but you don't need to, right? You're just working this part out. Now you've got this divided by 6, right? Okay. So, um, what am I going to do? What write 6 is a fraction right now, just for fun. 6 is 6 over 6 over 1. So you can just stick the over 1 there. You don't have to write the whole thing out again. And so now, of course, I have 10 thirds multiplied by, because I'm dividing fractions, so I need to multiply by 1 over 6. Okay. And can I cross cancel anything? I see a couple of even numbers there, do you? There's an even number on the bottom, there's an even number on the top. So 2 into 6 goes 3 times, 2 into 10 goes 5 times. And that gives me, uh, let's see, <coughs> 5 times 1 is 5, over 3 times 3 is 9. And that is a proper fraction, because the top is smaller. So I can't turn that into a mixed number anyway, right? So that's simply the answer there, right? Let's move on to page 3, and we'll look at what is the product of these guys, and then what is the quotient of these guys, okay? So product means multiply. Quotient means add, subtract, multiply or divide. What do you think? It means divide. Okay. If I'm getting the product of this and this, I've got to go uh, 4 fifths multiplied by 3 and 1 third. Okay. And then work it out. So, um, I'm multiplying this times this. What's the first thing you need to do? change this guy to a improper fraction, right? So it's 4 fifths times 3 times 3 is 9. 9 and 1 is 10. So 10 thirds. Now can you cross cancel something? 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 10 goes twice. 
and I get 4 times 2, 8, over 1 times 3 is 3, and that is 3 into 8 goes twice, remainder 2, so 2 and 2 thirds, right? Okay, uh, when I'm doing the quotient of this and this, I must make sure I go this divided by that. So the first number divided by the second number. Okay, so go ahead, you can by all means press pause and just see if you get the same answer as me, or just try and race me if you like and get to the end before I do, whichever you prefer. So let's see. I'll go slowly. Now the first thing I need to do is change these mixed numbers into improper fractions, right? So 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 3. 13 fifths I have divided by 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 plus 2 is 7. Now I'm dividing fractions. So it means I've got to do what? Multiply by this guy flipped upside down. The reciprocal of the fraction on the right. Okay, now you're multiplying. What can you do here? What would make life nice and easy? Well, by all means, you can multiply it across if you want to. 30 times 5 is 65, and 5 times 7 is 35, and then you could try and simplify that. But look, that's a little bit more work than just going 5 and a 5 goes once, 5 and a 5 goes once. See that? And now I just go 13 times 1 is 13. 1 times 7 is 7, and turn that into a mixed number. 7 into 13 goes, well 2 7s is 14, so 7 into 13 would be once, one time, right? Remainder, remainder 6, so 1 and 6 7s, yep.